The other day, I wrote a bunch of great jokes about allergic reactions. Uh-huh. Should I be doing that? No, I should have been calling an ambulance. You know. <laughs> so tell us about it the show. It is called Spilt Milk. Spilt, based not on split. that phrase. Yes. Don't cry over spilt uh-huh. milk. There was briefly a routine about that phrase in the show, which uh-huh. is no longer in the show. Oh. Thus, the title is irrelevant. Okay, good that to know. That said, I do sort of think all stand-up is crying over spilt milk, isn't it? Because it is. crying over spilt milk, you know, stuff you can't change, mm. stuff that basically doesn't matter, and then just whinging about it. That's stand-up comedy, that's if stand-up. you ask me. You're just moaning about stuff. Uh-huh. That, uh, who cares? Yeah. And that's what this show is, effectively. I'm moaning about a bunch of stuff, but, but who cares? Uh, and who, well, we care. We're all well, good. It's done are, incredibly well, the show, hasn't it? It's sort of... Well, yeah, it's yeah. done well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah know, it incredibly has. well. It's, yeah, yeah, okay, it it's done incredibly well. It's done incredibly well, it yeah. has, yeah. So you're bringing it to Edinburgh, and yeah. having already done it, you must be entering, like, you know, feeling a bit nicer, or rather than, like, ooh, got a brand new show. Um, you talk about Wim Hof and your hatred. Is it hatred for Wim Hof? Yeah. Him it, personally? It, no, actually, no. it's more people sort of trying to do the Wim Hof method now. Uh, yeah. Find it a bit embarrassing yes. but also because their way of doing it is just a cold shower in the morning you know the whole sort of uh, grind set the sort of you know rise and grind attitude yeah, yeah, of like yeah, yeah. Get cold shower five. in the morning and they're like yeah get the whole get up at five I've seen Mark Wahlberg's tweet so yeah. I'm getting up at five now and I've got 15 minutes for my kids every day but <laughs> I will be having a billion cold showers a day and the, the fact that often people are like you've got to have that cold shower because it invigorates you and um, it makes you more productive and I'm like why do you want to be more productive to go and work for someone else, you maniac. <laughs> Unless you're doing something that's your own thing. But even then, the, the life hack of productivity, right, it, uh-huh. isn't, it isn't a cold shower. The secret, you know this, the secret to getting anything done is all you need is something more important you're supposed to be doing. That's how you get <laughs> yeah. stuff done, isn't it? So you just, that's all you just put some stuff in the diary. That's why your house is always tidiest when you've got a big deadline or something. Yeah. Because you just go, right, I'll procrastinate. The other day, I wrote a bunch of great jokes about allergic reactions. Uh-huh. Should I be doing that? No, I should have been <laughs> calling an ambulance. You know, <laughs> just a bit of fun there, Grimmy. Just a bit of old fun. Must want a lovely little just gag. Just a bit there. of fun. But seriously, that is sort of the issue is that they go, and they say it's great for the skin. Everyone uh-huh. says, oh, it's great, cold shower for the skin. You go, well, all anyone talks about is stuff that's great for the skin. And I don't do this. And all anyone talks to me about is, how'd you get such good skin? How'd you get it's yeah. a, the same people in the same conversation. Yeah. And I go, by not getting up at five every morning <laughs> yeah. and feeling exhausted. <laughs> Sleeping. And freezing myself out. Wim Hof, however, <laughs> does do this for real because mm-hmm. he runs marathons in the snow yeah. barefoot. Which is also mad, actually. It's ridiculous. That's ridiculous and yeah. needless. Yeah. Take up golf, yeah. mate. Yeah, yeah chill just out. a bit of golf. Do a bit get of the golf. Andy Williams get into on. Andy Williams. Get the chill golf out. on. Relax, Wim Hof. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I love how people like to post about it as if mm. they're the only ones that have done it. But the my soul plungers. feed is like, I've been swimming in a pond yeah. near me. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mm, so's everyone. Oh, and it's so refreshing. Oh, yeah, of course it is. Yeah, it's freezing. What, uh, it's ice cold water poured over you. <laughs> yeah, I think, no way. I think it's a form of torture. Famously. It wakes, it wakes you up. Yeah, 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 yeah of course it's it does. Freezing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Hell. it might yeah. as well be an alarm. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, marriage as well. It says uh, mm. that you something that you just just not on board with. Stupid no, I to believe in marriage is the quote. It was stupid to believe in marriage. Mm-hmm. Is that it? That's that the might quote. be a typo as well. Though. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just think um, you know, in the modern world. It's sort of a weird thing to do, isn't it? You know, it's based on a very old idea of sort of ownership. It's to be honest, the show does not preach this at all. It doesn't preach this at all. Um, it's more just like marriage. What a risk anyway. It is a risk. Something we know the stats on marriage now. Mm. And it's like, if you know, it's an old analogy. But if you were told this parachute will fail over 50% of the time, you go, oh, I won't jump out the plane then. Yeah, it won't do it. Obviously not. And marriage to me is like, um, every marriage is just saying, basically, I bet you're half your stuff. You won't love me forever. <laughs> That's all it is. It's a big gamble that you're taking. You go, you won't love me forever, and I'm going to get that Xbox. That's all it is. Um, I, I think you just got to do it. Do you do know you what think? I mean? You've got to do it. If you're getting married, that's it. If you're right. unhappy, I don't you've... care. Stay in it. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, that's it, right? That's so the then, deal. So there's an analogy in the show about how I think it'll die out because uh-huh. of the way sort of Gen Z, generation below yeah. me, have been raised on a different idea to boomers. Mm-hmm. So the boomers, that's their attitude, isn't it? Because their whole thing is stiff upper lip. You get mm-hmm. through everything, no matter how tough it gets. And they've applied that to things like recessions, but also to marriage. Mm-hmm. So they just draw the curtains. Just don't let the neighbours see how tough this is. We'll get through it. We We're will not it. admit defeat. Gen Z have been told, no your worth never settle for anything less than you deserve so they all think they're special because we prank them by telling them that they believed us <laughs> so there's no way they're getting married they're not going to do it they're not they'd be like nah not. why like, no and they just no. leave it straight away the, the divorce rate if, if the marriage rate continues divorce rate will be 100% <laughs> yeah. if Gen Z get married just, yeah if they do they'll be like nah leave no, it no I'm actually no better way. than this all no of them. I deserve better all yeah, of that yeah it'll be that 